Hey guys, well, here I have this 2009 Lincoln MKS 3.7 front wheel drive. Got projector front headlamps, fog lamps. I really like the design on these. They look very nice. Coming to the wheels, these ones have some really bad curb rash on them. Um, this car is, in general is in rough shape. You'll see when we get to the interior. But the wheels are 255, 45, 19s. Nice set of wheels. See, the previous owner did hit something as well. 2009 MKS front wheel drive 3.7 V6. Very pretty looking car. You have a dual chrome tipped exhaust. It's very attractive. Go ahead and get inside. I believe it has smart key access, but I'm not completely sure. I don't think it does, but it does have um, push button ignition. It's a black leather interior that you can see is in kind of rough shape for 2009 at least, but it is perforated, which is nice. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on down here. It's all messed up. But um, I have four way power lumbar. Slide the seat back and forth. Four way lumbar. Um, I don't know where I had the camera pointed. Thigh support, um, seat height, and backrest. So it's a 12 way power driver's seat. See, this one's got the leather torn in it already. Sorry if this video is a little off-centered. Um, this is really my first tour with my new Handycam. So, straighten the door. It's a very nice interior. Door materials, it's all soft up here. They have a nice chrome door handle, power locks, power mirrors. A nice padded armrest, this stitched. This is all padded, and this is leather, along with the armrest. They have all automatic windows. Heated seats, heated and cooled. Um, window lock. I'm gonna open up this door because it's hot in here with the black interior. You have your parking brake. Push on, push off. Hood latch. Automatic lights. Um, a leather wrap steering wheel with some wood on the top. I really like that. Um, you have cruise control, audio controls with hands-free. Um, believe, yeah, that's, um, radio controls up here. The dashboard is nice and soft to the touch. You have a speaker in the middle. I really like the wood accents. You have, um, the see radio display, radio controls down here. Um, dual zone automatic climate control. A six-speed automatic with a nice leather and metal shift knob. Does have a manual mode. A little bit of storage there. More storage in there. It's got two cup holders. It does have Microsoft Sync. I really like this console. It's nice and padded. Well, okay amount of room. Um, we have a USB outlet, a headphone jack, and another power outlet. It does slam right down. Coming over here, it's still all padded, even the glove box, which is nicely damped and um, lined with felt. This one's got a sunroof. Headliner feels nice. Um, visors have a mirror and vanity light. And I think that sums it up for the front. We'll go ahead and take a look at the back seat. As I'm not sure where the trunk, oh, there's the trunk release. Take a look at that after the back seat. Make sure it's unlocked. The mirrors are heated as well. See, very large back seat. I think in the seat is all the way back, and these back seats are really comfortable. Very nice quality leather. And I still have plenty amount of room. I'm six foot four. I have excellent thigh support. Um, the back seats are perforated as well. We have this big armrest with two cup holders and some more storage. Very soft. As you'd expect from the Lincoln. You have pockets in the seats, um, vents in the rear, 
rear heated seats. That's really nice. Uh, with a power outlet, of course. And it is a panoramic moonroof. Really love the dash. Back here, um, I forgot to mention headroom is excellent even with the moonroof and I don't want to know what happened there. <laughs> um, door materials, it's all the same back here, except to this plastic key down below. And this said automatic windows in the rear. Which is kind of expected because considering these cars go for I think 40 grand brand new. I'm not completely sure. Opening up the trunk, it is powered. Um, it's kind of a small opening. It's wide, but it's not very tall. But once you get it in there, it's still real, very nice. It's not, it's not, it's not very deep, but it goes on forever. Um, where's the power release? All right, maybe it isn't powered. I don't know what that's about. Good, how are you? Taking a look under the hood. Releases over here. Let's see if this has Ford's 3.7 liter V6. I'll put the numbers in the description. But that sums it up for this tour, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment what you think down below. And as always, subscribe for more.